Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Thursday, February 16th, 2017. I am Brittany Scott. And I'm Dylan Craig. Our top stories today include a foster parent accused of child abuse and Trump takes on the Israel-Palestine conflict. These stories and more coming up next on Texan TV. <clears throat> In Campus News, Service Day sign-ups begin today. Service Day provides students with the opportunity to serve while applying knowledge in the classroom to whatever project they're working on. On April 6, 2017, all Thursday classes will be dismissed to allow students to participate in service projects. Students are responsible for logging onto the Service Day portal in Texan Sync to sign up for a project by March 12th. Once a project reaches the maximum number of volunteers, its registration will be closed. Make sure to sign up as soon as possible to reserve your spot on your preferred project. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, the Stephenville Director of Planning and Building Service, Noah Cullis, resigned. The reason for resignation was not given. Cullis will be replaced by Jeremy Allen, who has taken over the day-to-day -day actions. Allen said Noah did a good job for the city of Stephenville and he definitely leaves on good terms with the city. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. The state of Texas on Wednesday defended President Donald Trump's ban on travelers from seven predominantly Muslim nations as an assertion of the presidential authority. The ban is intended to project the country from terrorists. Texas is splitting with the states that have denounced the order as religious attack. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton filed documents asking the San Francisco-based 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to reconsider its decision not to immediately restrain the ban. A three-judge panel of the 9th Circuit last week refused to block a lower court decision that suspended the ban. They rejected the Trump administration's claim of presidential authority, questioned its motives, and concluded that his executive order was unlikely to survive the legal challenge by the state of Washington and Minnesota. In national news, a foster parent in New York accused of sexually abusing boys in his care could possibly have been stopped years earlier. In a grand jury report, the Suffolk County Supreme Court jury outlined a series of failures that allowed Caesar Gonzalez Mugaburu to take in more than 100 children in 20 years, despite being the subject of 18 child abuse investigations. The report suggested that the biggest problem was the simple failure of the four governmental and one nonprofit child welfare agencies to share information. Suffolk District Attorney Thomas Spott said the foster care system in the state of New York is a bureaucratic nightmare and that corrections need to be made among the interaction between the agencies. In January 2016, the month of Gonzalez Mugaburu's arrest, two brothers came forward with credible stories of abuse, and then others followed. Gonzalez Mugaburu will start trial next month and has pleaded not guilty. In international news, chartering a striking new course for the Middle East, President Donald Trump on Wednesday withheld clear support for an independent Palestine and declared he could endorse a one-nation solution to the long and deep dispute between Palestinians and Israel. The president signaling a new era of concord between the U.S. and Israel after rocky relations under President Obama said he was more interested in an agreement that le leads to peace than any particular path to get there. Standing beside Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Trump broke not only with recent U.S. presidents, but also distanced the United States from the prevailing position of much of the world. While Trump urged Netanyahu to hold off on Jewish settlement, construction, and territories in territory, the Palestinians claim for their future state, he offered unwavering support for Israel, a pledge he appeared to sustain with vague comments about the shape of any agreement. For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. A number of Democratic senators and House members are calling for a special counsel. They want an investigation of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn's communications with Russia. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu met with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. Netanyahu said Israel and the U.S. would try to find common understanding about limiting Israeli settlement expansion. A U.S. official says a Russian intelligence gathering ship is in international waters off the U.S. east coast. 
The ship was spotted about 30 miles from a submarine base in Broughton, Connecticut. And officials in Northern California say the Lake Oroville water level dropped to 26 feet below the emergency spillway. Forecasters now say the area should get less rain in the next few days than was expected. Sandy Kozell, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. We now go to Haley Smith with the latest on Tarleton Sports. Thanks, guys. According to TarletonSports.com, Reisman has been named the HoopDirt.com National Division II Coach of the Week. This makes him eligible to receive a larger award at the end of the season. Our Texans are ranked number 11 in the NABC poll with 22 wins and 3 losses. We sit at the top of the Lone Star Conference with 13 wins and 2 losses. Carlton has the longest winning streak in the LSC at six games. The Texans will play today at a and Commerce at 7 p.m. Back to you guys. Thanks, Haley. Our weather this week has been a bit chilly and rainy. However, it won't last long. The National Weather Service has said the high for today will be 66 degrees and a low of 45. This weekend will be full of sunshine with temperatures ranging in the 70s. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on G Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 1230 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in, tune in on Northland Channel Cable 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Ashley Inge, Caitlin Riviera and Haley Smith. Have a fantastic day, Texans.